What's up, Tyler? With the Metal Reviews here. Uh, it's like two in the morning, and I need to do this album review of Creators Phantom, Phantom Antichrist. It's coming out June fifth. Nuclear Blast Records. Uh, I'm pink as hell because I was uh, just got back from my senior class trip. My hair looks like a fag because I got rained on. But I don't care. I need to do this album review because this album is absolutely amazing. I don't have it playing. Uh, I just have their old material playing. Um, now, Creator, uh, I'm sure most of you know, German thrash metal band uh, from the 80s when they started. Uh, I've, I've enjoyed Creator for a while now. I've I really, uh, I enjoyed their 80s material a lot. Um, I, in all honesty, I have not listened to much of their 90s material at all, which is their least popular stuff. And uh, I really enjoyed Enemy of God, that album. And I thoroughly enjoyed Hordes of Chaos that came out in 2009. Um, I always thought Creator was a good thrash metal band. Uh, not one of my favorites, but they're ones, but they're a band that I really enjoy to listen to. Uh, I wouldn't put them, you know, up there with one of my favorite thrash metal bands, like I said. But, I, I always thought their, their solos were just kind of like, this is just personal opinion, but kind of slayerish. Uh, and I, in, in all honesty, I'm not too crazy over Slayer solos. Uh, you know, they always had good riffs, the vocals were good too, uh, until now. Uh, Phantom Antichrist is such a monolithic album. It is just, it's huge. Um, I'm gonna just, uh, I don't even know how to describe it. I'm at a loss for words. I just listened to the whole thing, and oh my god, I was just blown away. Every track just assaults you. It's just, there's there's so much, it's so heavy. The guitar work and the drums, when they fuse, it's just, oh my gosh. Uh, it's just, I was listening to this, I'm like, damn, this is heavy. Um, the guitar riffs are just, they're the best creator riffs I have, I've heard, period. Uh, they're just, they're so, they're technical, uh, they're, they're just, like, they're heavy. Um, there's some very nice solo work done, too, like, instead of just, th like, throwing some wow on and just kind of doing a... Slayer's solo. These just, they feel so much more ex well executed, well, well written. Um, especially, I think it was the third track, Death to the World, I think it's called. Um, that solo, I was like, damn! Like, they just, they fit so well. It's just amazing solo work. Um, uh, uh, very great guitar harmonies that are in uh, a few of the tracks. Um, the drum work is just, uh, ah, it's just, it's amazing, uh, the drums sound great, I really, uh, I really enjoy the whole mix of the drums, not one thing overpowers, uh, you know, not the bass, the bass pedal doesn't overpower the snare, the snare doesn't overpower the cymbals, you know, what, whatever, like that, just a well, uh, mix of the drums and uh, also a well mix of the entire album. The entire album just sounds amazing. You can hear everything so well. Uh, this is probably one of the better produced albums that I've heard all year. Um, the vocals, damn. Uh, I always thought the vocals were, like I said, in the beginning of this video, they were they were good, uh, but. They just are so much better on this. Uh, Creator has used clean vocals in, you know, a uh, good couple of their songs and their past works and stuff. 
And I was like, eh, it's cool, it's different, it's not particularly the greatest thing. But this, they, I feel like they really took time and effort to put in good, clean vocals. They are very great. That's one thing, vocally, that really stood out to me. And also with the vocals, the lyrics are probably some of the best, if not the best, thrash lyrics I have ever heard in my life. They're very socially dread, driven. Yeah. Sorry. Very, uh, just so socially driven, like I said. Uh, sorry. Repeating myself. Um, it's late. Uh, very, uh, I'm in this with you type thing, you know? Just fuck everything and just, you know, death to the world. I, I thought that, that song really embodies, uh, what the lyrical content is on this album throughout the whole thing. Just very socially driven, fuck the world type stuff. And I personally really enjoy that. Uh, I feel that when a band has lyrics that you can really, really connect to, that is just such a strong selling point. It's such a strong point to have. Because when, when someone can connect to your lyrics, they're going to enjoy it. Whether they're just, you know, I, I don't know. Whether they're, uh, you know, fuck the world or something, just anything really when when someone can connect to your lyrics that's that's something that you really want as a band i mean it's cool to have lyrics where you're telling a story or something like that i mean that's cool and all i i enjoy that stuff or maybe some fantasy get some amount of mark going or you know hell some dio or something but it's just when a when you can connect to a band lyrics. That's just... I love that. Uh, it's one reason why I love the Casey Strain, or I love Alice in Chains. You know, I can really connect with their lyrics, and I can... I just... I love these lyrics. I keep repeating myself. And, uh, sorry, I'm repeating myself, but this album is just purely amazing. Um, I feel like this band in the past... I think it's been three years since Words of Chaos. Yeah. Uh, I just feel like they just, they went into a cave and they completely reinvented themselves and came out and was like, look what we created, guys. This is going to blow you away. In my opinion, this album uh, is like the best thrash album in the last ten years. Uh, I personally was giving that accolade in my personal opinion, to have Ox Time Is Up, which is unbelievable. But this album just throws that album out the door. Just kiss my ass, Havoc. We're creator. We're here. This is the best album of the year so far. I know I just said that with my Shadows Fall review of Fire in the Sky. This album is just huge. Um, it's just every track is just a pure ass kicking. There's melody. It's just heaviness. It's energetic, very energetic, uh, very up tempo like most thrash is, which is awesome. I just I love this. I just I love this. This is awesome. Go buy this album. Uh, when it comes out, I know I am. 10 out of 10 for this. Wow. Just wow. You know what? Just stop listening to me and just like pre order this album or something. So, uh, yeah, I'm Tyler, creator's fan of my Phantom Antichrist. Gets 10 out of 10.